I let Leo get the kids simply for the fact that at that time being, whether people felt like, oh, he was in somebody else's house or whatever the case may be, he had a actual stable home, a stable environment. A stable okay. environment, regardless to anything, living with somebody or whatever the case may be. He had a stable environment. Me, on the other hand, I still have to keep this room up for two fucking weeks until I get my apartment on the first. Gotcha. Okay, so let me like, say for real, Ebony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch, I'm just a motherfucking Come on, right. Right. Who echo was that? Cammy, the voice box. Thank you, thank you so much, pretty Lala. Uh, take yes, brother, mouth. I do. Take me. Oh, so uh, yeah. Thank you, pretty Lala. La pretty Lala was fine. I think it's my headphones. I don't get up here online and just randomly start talking about Leo. I retaliate to what the fuck Leo does. Brandy, just like today, shit. I haven't Mighty been night. on here, but yet when Hold I on. get on here, the nigga got 2.5k people up in his but room not, talking but, about. But, but you do know that, that you don't have to respond to, right? Um, um, I not think too, not, I, too, not too much. I can throw your bitch I, ass off the balcony or your mama, bitch. I, 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 I ain't I, I think I said the police because he was putting me, pictures up of them. I think he said those pictures were leaked. The pictures, the, the there was the pictures that were sent. Trying to blame that shit on it. Which he one? Oh, he he got 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 okay, so which ones were Bro. leaked? Which he did try to get them bitches to cream. Listen, he, I didn't he, even know he had sent the pictures out to people. He, I didn't even know he sent he the pictures out him, to man, people. Whether, 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 whether Leo sent them to Larry, Suey, Ali, and Mo, none of that shit matters. Leo, you sent the shit out for no fucking reason. For no fucking reason at all. You sent that shit out. You the root of that shit. You took the pictures and shipped the shit out. You should have kept the shit to your fucking self. I hate, I hate this. Very much, should have. Very much should have. Okay, so look. So before I got the pictures, I didn't know that Leo had already sent them out to people. Leo he said, had me thinking he said, like, oh, well, I'm just going to send them to you, Ev, because you, like, I ain't know that he sent them out to motherfuckers. Sent them to Vaughn, Cream, Nani, and then I was the last person to give. Wait, scroll back up, scroll back up, just I thought scroll up. Shit. What what Vaughn say? I can't entertain this. You really trying to destroy Leo? Child porn? The Vaughn, shut the fuck up. Fuck you mean? Really child porn? Don't see none of my motherfucking kids. They private parts, you know, private areas. I don't give a fuck to somebody else. I don't like nobody having pictures of my kids and they That's fully goddamn said, dressed. Spicy friend. None I don't, my kids is fully dressed. I, don't, I don't give a fuck if my kids is fully fucking dressed. Even don't with my, cream. Don't say my picture. I see Why that, would I you send the shit. pictures to Cream and, 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 and Jesse and, and okay, Cream? Um, don't, send, don't say my pictures and send my pictures to anybody, whether they fully dressed or not. One, you wouldn't even have no pictures like that. And if I wouldn't send no shit like that, but even if they were fully fucking dressed, don't send my pictures. I feel it. I feel like it's child. You something wrong with your ass. You saving pictures of kids or somebody else's kids in your fucking phone, and you sending them shits out to everybody else. I feel like that shit is sick. Weird as fuck. Okay, and let's let's not forget that when I got the pictures, Leo didn't tell me what they were pictures of. He said, "Eb, I just want to see. I want you to see the pictures. That was it. And then he sent them, and it was those pictures. Imagine to be a grown ass man walking around with a picture. Grown ass man, a grown ass woman walking around with pictures of somebody else's kids in your phone. Um, some sick shit. I don't know what it is. I think that uh, the part." Of course, I asked him if he had any definitive proof that Ev did anything, and he said there was no definitive proof. There was only his speculation, his own personal speculation. That was the first part. Fuck his speculation. Why the fuck he always know? He always come to Ev with the shit, 
didn't want to blame Eb for everything. That's why I called Eb the other day. Right, like, Kiki. I listened to his ass. Because Abby, I want to be talking to him and doing her bitch, because you was the one who agreed to the shit. Let's Abby, not forget is, that. Who is this person that they keep calling he? Uh, Leo. I let girl titties bigger than everybody. <laughs> Bitch, who got milk? <laughs> Gucci, I hate you with a passion. Okay, who got this is milk? a serious situation. <laughs> this is a serious situation. I got some cookies. Who got milk? <laughs> Bitch, this is a serious situation. Uh -huh. well, go ahead. <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was saying. I'm thinking about Bitch, cookies and milk for real. <laughs> girl, Leo, better get right. her bald head ass down so well, girl. What is wrong with her? So, uh, so he he did he he speculates that Eb was the one who sent the pictures out. Although there's no definitive proof or anything, um, that part was kind of obscure to me. But what he wants, what he's saying, what he wants from Jesse is something that can hold up his weight in case he has to make a medical or educational decision for the children while the children are in his care. Ain't that what that's what? That letter won't do it. That uh -huh. letter is just a note. That that letter indemnifies him in case they try to say he tried to kidnap the or whatever, or to kidnap the kids or anything. That's what the letter does. I couldn't have kidnapped them if they were placed in my care. Leo said during mm -hmm. the duration that the kids were with him, that the letter when, was when, supposed to be for if he had to take them to the doctor. Or that won't work, baby. That would that not work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this is the thing, y'all. Jesse is not gonna do this. So Jesse is not gonna go this further to call TPS. She's not gonna get a court order. She's not doing that. She's not putting her children in the harm way. You have to pay the fucking attention. Listen to Jesse. She's not doing that. You guys. Stop it. Y'all trying to above the story and try to make this a whole motherfucking storyline for Big Out. And that is enough. Can I say Cammy, you need Jesse to is not doing side. that. Cammy, baby girl, you need to stay on this side of Beagle because you, now we don't understand. Ever since you left, girl, you start talking like Weezy, girl. We don't understand you no more, baby. Girl, be quiet. Nigga, please. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. Fuck your mama, nigga. I'm speaking, I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking the truth because I know Jesse, and Jesse is not going to go that far. You ain't even been around, Cammy. He's not. You ain't so even been around, just doing shut up. For me. No, shut, shut the fuck up. Your Fred. ass ain't even been here. The fuck? Shut your bitch ass, you fat bitch. No, bitch, you shut up. up. I'm over here like a motherfucking yeah. drug out ass counselor. Bitch, you ain't been here. Y'all know what the fuck, fuck you. going on. Your ass just came up here to talk because you see the views, What's bitch. Girl, I don't give a fuck about a you. A drug out ass motherfucking counselor. <laughs> Bitch, so can't listen. Even talk right. Shut the fuck Wild up. Wild Ebony, girl. you were so, not there for Jesse yeah, and Leah. Dead. I was. Yeah, yeah. I was there for them since the motherfucking Milky beginning. Motherfucking I know the whole motherfucking monkey. story Shit. about their motherfucking up. life, bitch. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Ebony, you don't know nothing about them. Shut up, bitch. The fuck? Shut up, bitch. Shit. I slept in their house. I know one slept in their house. Oh, Lord. I know Jesus. everything. Oh, my God. Girl, she for a kid. Uh, why is Jesse texting low, dusty ass? Low, we beating your ass when we get out there. That ain't low, that's Leo. That's Leo. Oh, okay, my oh, okay, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> this will all go. I'm ready to, I'm ready to stop that. What's wrong with that bitch? <laughs> oh, they go this low. Will, yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, okay, this will go to stop that. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> what are we looking at? Like, girl, I don't like know. exposing messages. Then Leo gonna expose messages. Like, it's just a back and forth thing. Like, Brandon, can I help you? Who cares? The justice. Why are you throwing these the fucking messages? Bitch Who cares about it? That's between you and Leo. Can I help you? That has nothing to do with the kids. Y'all having this little fight between you. That's a couple fight to me. The, I don't give a fuck about this. This text message is. I don't want to give a damn. What does it got to do with the kids? Ugh. But okay. Jesse don't need to go get the kids though. Why y'all trying to make her go get the kids? She don't need to go get them. But my thing is because, this: if we gonna go through this every day, she might as well go get them. Cause bitch, because I'm Leo sick said of that. Because Leo said that Leo he will put CPS. them into to CPS within forty eight hours, twenty four to forty eight oh, hours. She need to go if, get the fucking kids. Why we sitting here showing messages? Right. Okay. 
before if oh, if Jesse man. does not like that's what I'm saying. Like go get the fucking kids. But she don't want to. She don't want to, Ebony. She don't want to get her kids. She do she want, want to get, get her kids. kids Okay, okay. okay. But then you need kid. to go get them. Low beat. She's not going to get the kids. The kids are okay, in a very yeah. safe environment right now. Well, she is like not. Shit. He said okay. that he's giving her 48 hours. Ain't nobody finna keep going yet. through this shit every day, Brandon. Damn. No say this is late. She needs to go get he, the damn kids. Jesse, he's, he's giving you 48 hours. hours. Go get your kids. Don't get him now. Why you gotta wait till the last minute? The shit was going on even when Jesse. Because Jesse got the kids, the shit was still going on. It ain't about because fucking kids. At the end of the day, the shit was still going on when Jesse had the kids. It was still the same shit going on, even when Jesse had the kids. It's still the same shit, the same exact shit. Leo wants to control Jesse. The same shit. Jesse has a weird infatuation for some reason. The fact that she dealt with the motherfucker, even though I think he ain't shit. And got shit and everything look weird, dumb, and everything else. Jesse has an infatuation with Leo, connection with Leo. Leo has the same dumbass connection with with Jesse, and like weird connection. He's in love, whatever it may be. Like, but it's all. I, I thank you for this. All right, so everybody's saying just go get the kids. Like go get the kids puts them in a the greatest situation. Jesse is asking not for custody, but some type of document that would allow him to make medical educational Leo. decisions. For the children. Leo. That's Girl, it. I so if he does. Leo. Leo. I have go, go. To get my on the first. But I'm cool go, with that. But Jesse, you was the one that got on here. I'm talking about you want to go. You want your kids. Go get That's the problem. Not going going to get so, so, so if you go get the kids, is that even better than really putting them in CPS at this point right now? Everybody, including Jesse, has already admitted that. Listen, has already included that. Oh my everybody has already. Jesse probably can't take care of kids right now. Let's just that's what, and that's what and, and that's okay, what I'm saying. What so why saying. and so why not just give Leo that one document that he's asking for that allows him to make a decision but, medically or educationally fuck, necessary? No. It doesn't but give him got no job. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to lose the kids. Fuck no, fuck his no. job. His, his fuck job is his job. His job. His job is caregiver. Ain't no goddamn shut up. Drop your ass in no goddamn box talking about your caregiver. That motherfucker ain't no fucking care. Leo, Leo fucking caregiver. Leo, 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 Leo sitting his ass all fucking day. He's sitting in the house on his ass all fucking day. You know, fucking caregiver. That shit was he was like he was like an automatic person. He was a per look, you over 18, just watch the kids. Like, and you just Automatically have to fit that goddamn title. Leo, Leo ain't shit. Leo, no, Leo, Leo ain't shit. This, this shit crazy. Leo ain't no mother. This, this, Leo. But who is giving care? Well, who is giving like care? Who is who is giving care to the kids right now? Then let my question answer, please. Right, Brandon. No, who's who's giving care to the kids? By Leo. definition, a caregiver is someone who gives care. Okay, okay, who is okay. giving? No, who's on. taking care of the kids? Who's taking? Who's taking okay, care of the kids so right now? Don't oh, 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 yeah, mute us, Brandon. Oh, 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 we don't want to hear I'm about to mute y'all ass. I'm about to mute y'all ass. You have not been bored. Look, if Chucky get asked a good question, Chucky get asked a good question. I'm just tired. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm so tired of that. I got them under my roof. And I'm taking care of them financially and everything by myself. By myself. And she's so ungrateful. I have never met no one. I got That's who's taking care of the fucking kids. Not Leo bum ass. Shit is motherfucking bum ass in the house all fucking day not doing shit. You watch all them damn ITT. I said this shit before. You watch all them goddamn ITT tech commercials. All them Bryman College commercials. All them average college commercials, and your ass ain't got off off the fucking couch yet and called the motherfuckers trying to fix your fucking life. You 38 year old bum. He's a fucking bum. Leo, you ain't got shit. You bringing your toxic ass to her household. Them evil spirits attached to your ass in her household. That's who taking care of the shit. Leo, okay, y'all heard about voice his mouth himself. That's who taking care of the shit. That's who taking care of the shit. Not Leo bum ass. Not Leo bum ass. 
That's what I'm saying. Brandon, Brandon, you have this. Brandon, <laughs> you have this irrational hate against Leo. Yeah, you need yes, to let Brandon. it go, Brandon. No, no, you need I, to I, let it go. I ain't got no hate towards Leo. <laughs> Shaky asked a valid question. Shaky asked a valid question. Shaky asked a valid question. He got a valid question. Shaky asked a valid question. Got a valid answer. Everybody heard it. Three thousand people in here heard it, right? Who taking care of the kids, doing everything by themselves? Leo just sitting his ass in the house all day, trying to act like he got that energy, but ain't got shit to the company. Broke as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, if I was Jesse, with, with Leo having the kids, I wouldn't have been on here saying shit about Leo. I would have let that bitch say whatever. It don't fucking matter. Bitch, so I'm gonna show you something different. I'm like, I'm gonna show you something different. Nah, but you ain't supposed to be on here bashing and this, that, or other. Responding. Let that shit go. Thank you, Brandon, can you turn Thank the you screen got, off? My like, what the fuck? My bad. Like, you, got your, you, got your question, you got your question answered, right, Shaggy? Okay, all right. So, fair enough. Leo just got kicked. Man, Brandon, go to kick Leo. But that's but okay. So my question. So with his girlfriend taking care of the children, uh, but she worked too. So who watches the children while she's working? Who watches the children? Leo, another dependent. Leo, another dependent. Leo is an over. But Leo watched the kids though. Leo, so if, Leo, if Leo watched the kids, that Jesse is taking still care of them. Be with Leo, like hence a take, hence a caregiver. If you're just watching them, even if you're not necessarily, you're watching them. You're Leo, taking Leo, care of them. Leo just a, Leo's an over eighteen year old dependent. Nobody, he feel like he a babysitter. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that's, okay, that's still, fine. That's the same thing. <laughs> That's the same thing. Like you, you need babysitters for children. People have to do this. And Nobody Leo. has to watch them. I don't see <laughs> so somebody so Leo. Jesse responds to my face. No, but no like really, Leo. everybody opinions is making the shit worse. Because if the kids go to CPS, then what? Well, can't nobody I, get them. I, well, I hope y'all can't live. And if anybody can live with themselves, oh. why these kids go to CPS? Who making the kids? Who making it, who making it worse, true. Jesse? Everybody, Everybody else's opinions. No, that's that, that making it making it worse. In and day out, it's making Listen, it worse. Listen, at this point, man. when's she oh. coming to get the kid? Okay. See? I don't know she what the does. fuck we sit up here talking about. We talking about your weak ass not being a fucking man. You wanted to have that motherfucking baby two years ago, and now your weak ass, you the same weak ass motherfucker threatening with the CPS shit. When you gonna start being a fucking man? You sitting in somebody else's shit and you ain't bringing shit to the fucking table. You looking up at the light, light turned on, that's electricity in the house. Shit that you ain't paying for. When you gonna start being a fucking man? The same energy you put towards Destiny when you ain't doing shit in your own fucking life. You 38 years old with nothing, Leo. Ain't nothing in that motherfucker in your name. You sorry sack of shit. Your life is all fucked up. You had that, you had Jesse box two in the house, panhandling. You was with her for four years. You had her panhandling, you got her car stolen. You got a motherfucker. You made her motherfucker lose her goddamn job. Y'all was out there, had her out there prostituting, doing all the other shit, selling pictures and everything else, and videos and shit like that. You a sorry ass excuse for a motherfucking man. Seriously, when I give you that energy, you don't want the shit. Weird ass shit. Don't get your kids by Tuesday for sitting on the panel. I'm calling CPS on them. You sitting on kids panel. I'm like, don't, you don't threaten no kids like that. You motherfucking love. Say you gonna call CPS on their ass. When you gonna start being a fucking man, you weirdo? Stop using CPS like it's a fucking game. Stop using that shit to control motherfuckers. Grow the fuck up. Be a fucking man, you weirdo. Sad as fuck. So, again, bitch, when she coming to get her kids so I can show you what I could do without them? Get your sorry ass up and go fix your fucking life. You've been a bum for the longest. You got them kids two weeks ago. You try to make that your excuse why you ain't get no fucking job. I put my life on hold. I had a job two weeks ago. I ain't gonna get my kids. Stop fucking lying. Nobody in this, it's 3,000 people and nobody on this motherfucker believe no shit like that. Stop using other people as your fucking excuses why you won't be shit. Stop blaming everybody else for your fuck ups. Go fix your fucking life. Damn shame you should over there. How do you wake up comfortable knowing you ain't put shit on the house you living in? How the fuck can you wake up all happy and shit like that? That shit weird as fuck. Working around just living for free. Toxic as fuck. 
You don't pay for shit in that motherfucker. You don't pay for no toilet right. no sanitary napkins, no motherfucking tampons. You don't pay for shit over Brandy, there. Brandy, you know, it seems like you really invested, honey. Yeah, you know, for real. It's just really bad. Because <laughs> my you just heard Leah just Okay, so y'all, we don't want to get you to the kids. We don't want to get you to the kids. Okay, every time you come up out here, you have to like, go to fuck in like that. Just stop. Just stop. Oh, yeah, because you can't sit on that motherfucker. You're hosting a family. You don't know how to be fair. All right, look, my people's is invested into it, too. My people support. Uh, but you just well, driving too hard on her. Yeah, well, I'm, you I'm, I'm going, I'm going, no, huh? y'all talking about that. No, uh, because y'all, everybody talking about giving Jesse some tough love. No, nah, but I'm giving that motherfucker that man energy. He don't want the shit. I'm going too hard on his ass. I'm giving him that man energy. That's the shit he can't deal with. That's the shit he don't motherfucking want. I'm sorry. You want to be a man? You're 38 years old with literally nothing. All facts. You're 38 years old with nothing. Fix your fucking life. That youngest child is supposed to be yours. This kid's involved. Of course, I'm going to be real invested into it. I wish y'all to get invested into it as well. My people's just breaking bread. They going hard behind the scenes. and making sure Jesse's definitely looking good. They're looking out. We looking out for Jesse. But damn so. We putting energy into her. Just keeping it 100. You know, this bitch is crying and whining every fucking day. I ain't got up here and said nothing about Jesse being a parent of the fucking year or none of that other shit. That's not came out of my mouth. I just don't like when motherfuckers already down and y'all try to shit on them when they already down. Fuck no. Fuck no. You ain't gonna just be shitting on motherfuckers when they already down. And on top of that, the person's actually trying. They not down and they not doing shit. They actually trying. She's trying. Imagine living with Leo. Imagine that shit. Imagine living with Leo four years. Had you out there panhandling, you and your child out there panhandling in front of stores. Trying to get on websites and sell cat, selling pictures and videos, getting you fired for your damn job. All that shit is gonna impact it's common sense to say it's gonna impact your life, the parenthood. I mean the kid how it's gonna impact your kids and everything. Like then you got a motherfucker sit up here and say that they love the kids, they'll be the first ones calling CPS on them. Brandon, what up? I know you. I know you're trying to take up for Jesse. I get it, cause I don't have nothing, nothing against Jesse, but y'all making it worse. Like at this point, he about to go take him to CPS, and I'm trying to calm him down, because y'all making it worse. Well, I don't want the kids well, to be in well, well, CPS. Well, well, if that's if that's kind of man you deal with, that's you. When he take him to CPS, his ass should be at the house too, cause he don't provide shit to that motherfucker either. At least you get a food stamp paid. card. Hold on, let me say. At least you get a food stamp card out of goddamn Jesse. Jesse getting food. At least you can buy the kids some food. Leo ain't sitting over there doing shit. If you dealing with a motherfucker that would take some kids in the CPS, given the fact that because they got to an argument and some shit like that on Bigo, some shit like that, you don't believe me with the motherfucker. His decision making skills is all fucked up. His decision making skills is all fucked up. Ain't nobody want to be around. Not only you not bringing shit to the table, but you over here talking about. Taking some kids to CPS just because they got to argue on Bigo because some shit like that. Fuck no, you bad energy. You might fuck around and come do some shit like that to me in the future. I'm giving his ass daddy energy. Brandon, you, can't deal with Brandon you keep making this content every day. You Why in the hell you get medicine? Up, Brandon, like, what the fuck? I'm this early in the morning. They don't need yeah, to be talking PTSD about this every day. Oh, is Bigo. acting up. His, his oh, that's why Leo was acting up. This shit is driving you crazy. You've been doing this shit for three days. I'm giving his ass, yeah. I'm giving his ass dirty energy. He can't touch like, he's a little obsessive right now because he has to get his I, head. Yeah, I'm not. I need to go. I need to go. Mute y'all ass. I need to go even more. I need to go even harder. Because his girlfriend got up here, you know what I'm saying, damn near in tears, saying that she's about to really take the kids to the CPS. We got kids involved. You got a weirdo like that with the kids. Yes, we got to make sure you get them kids back ASAP. Seriously. You have to dig dig deep down for wherever you can. Connect with God, Allah, the universe, Buddha, whoever you believe in. And you're going to have to make this shit happen. Because that's a toxic motherfucker. Don't ever let that motherfucker say he love your kids. Sending your kids pictures out. But we Brandon, told I, I feel like, dude, yes, I feel like Brandon, place. you feel like this. You said okay. this shit because uh, Leo be dragging the fuck out of you. But I feel like you're Jesse, to I text you again. Yeah, I okay, was just about. So, so, go so, ahead so Jesse, okay, then so go, go ahead go and go get him. 
So the, so once this once you get the kids, you should be contacting Leo no more. That's over. Brandon, you Even you though we know Leo. Jesse yeah. don't need the Go get a car. Okay. Okay. Ain't no none of that. I'm sick of all of y'all. Close that door. Let's go. Y'all get up. 